everybody and welcome back to Virtual Kisses. I'm your host, Tanya, is my name, and my good friend, Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> welcome everybody. Today's topic is, as you can see on the ticker tape below, it says Roar. <laughs> and as you can see, we're dressed up as, I'm a leopard, <laughs> and you're a... I'm a tiger. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, to, again, guys, today's topic is roar. Okay, what's so funny about it? Well, <laughs> we want to give you our take on what roar means to us today and bring some uh, sunshine in your cloudy days and for this month of October to give you something to uh, roar about. So, I'm going to give it pass it over to Elsa and let her explain to you what it means. Thank you. <laughs> so hello everybody. Thanks again for joining us. And yeah, so Roar. Um, well, honestly, I was waking up like every single day and I was singing this song, I Have the Tiger from the Rocky Show, like every single morning. <laughs> So much that it bugged my son. So um, after I think one to two weeks of that, I was like, "All right, what is this? That, like, why won't this just get out of my mind?" And and then when I went to go look it up, because I have not seen Rocky, guys. I tried, I tried to watch it. It was brutal. I couldn't get through the first. I think it was 15 minutes of the ranting and talking and whatever. It must have been before Sylvester Stallone became famous. I don't know, but it was like it was so bad. I couldn't watch the film. So I was like, okay. What is it? So I went onto YouTube, and then I, I found this song with um, Katy Perry's version. Um, and it's titled Roar, if you go to YouTube. Um, and I just want to read a couple lines, well, a few lines of the lyrics. Um, and that should hopefully kind of start off what I want to talk about with Roar. So, um, Katy Perry again, right? Katy Perry? Yes, Katy Perry, Roar. You held me down, but I got up already brushing off the dust you hear my voice you hear that sound like thunder gonna shake the ground you held me down but i got up get ready because i've had enough i see it all i see it now i got the eye of the tiger a fighter dancing through the fire because i am a champion and you're gonna hear me roar roar <laughs> roar louder louder than a lion because i am a champion and you're gonna hear me roar um this was the neat part. There was a yeah. little <laughs> it also says, like, a little chorus. It says, now I'm floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. I earned my stripes. I went from zero to be my own to my own hero and then it goes on again you know you held me down but i got up already brushing off the dust so all of it was talking about <laughs> champion being a champion and um you know whenever circumstances or people come and try to hold you down try to push you down so that you don't rise up right um so how you have a spirit to persevere um i love that it had that little which i didn't know i had about the whole um float like a butterfly and sting like a bee because I had ha actually had this photo up from my sister's Instagram and it's um, Muhammad Ali which is kind of funny because that is actually his saying uh, floating like a butterfly sting like a bee but this saying that he had on here which I thought was perfect plus it's like orange and black like it was money for me to actually show it in <laughs> with my whole fashion theme but it says I hated every minute of training but I said don't quit suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion so i can kind of see this all kind of threading together there's like the repetition of being a champion um yes suffering and persevering through suffering um and that whole like floating like a butterfly and stinging like a beat like that even that was repeating right um but you know that having the eye of a tiger so i this is not mine okay, this is my daughter's <laughs> I don't walk around the house with this tiger hoodie, but um, I wanted to wear this uh, just as a, uh, I don't know, repetition of what I want to say today. Um, I want to talk about what it means to be a champion according to God's word. Um, and Joel 2, uh, there's a book in the Bible called Joel. Um, Joel 2, I want to read just a little bit from there and just kind of give you guys a picture of what the word of God says of what a champion actually is so it says blow the trumpet in Zion 
and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming, for it is at hand, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, like the morning clouds spread over the mountains. A people come great and strong, the like of whom never has never been, nor will there ever be any such after such after them. Wow, so anyways. I, even for many successive generations. Okay, sorry, my mouse just jumped. Um, there. A fire devours before them, and behind them a flame burns. The land is like the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Surely nothing shall escape them. Their appearance is like the appearance of horses, and like swift steeds, so they run, with a noise like chariots. Over mountain tops they leap. Like the noise of a flaming fire that devours the stubble, like a strong people set in battle array. Before them, the people writhe in pain. All faces are drained of color. They run like mighty men. They climb the wall like men of war. Everyone marches in formation, and they do not break ranks. They do not push one another. Everyone marches in his own column. Though they lunge between the weapons, they are not cut down. They run to and fro in the city. They run on the wall, they climb into the houses, they enter at the windows like a thief. Um, and it just kind of continues to talk about like how everything trembles before them, right? So um, the part where they're talking about how they were running like mighty men and how they all run in like their own columns. Um, they don't push each other, they don't break ranks. So when I think of that, I think of like how, you know, like tigers and you know, leopards and lions and all the cats of the jungle, like none of them are competing against each other. Like there's no competition. <laughs> yeah, they are just being the way that God created them to be. If you're a tiger, you're a tiger. If you're a leopard, you're a leopard. If you're a lion, you're a lion. You know, like um, I guess male lions, like that's where you can see maybe competition. Um, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about <laughs> releasing your roar. And what is your roar? And what does that look like? Well, that, I think that depends on you. You know, like finding out your design and finding out um, what makes you come alive and what is worth it for you that whenever anyone tries to push you down or squish you down or hold you down, you still want to rise up. You still want to get up. You still want to fight for that very thing. Like that's a vision right there. Um, that's a hope and that's a future. That's something that I believe that was put into your DNA um, as whatever, you know, roar that that would put inside of you to release um that was put inside of you so that nobody could actually snuff that out and when i think about what the bible says about being like a champion you know or what muhammad ali said about being a champion it's about you know suffering and training and living today like they don't just sit there eating chips not working towards being that champion like they are actually training so when I think of um, Olympians and things like that, like Olympians are so dedicated. They have like this dedication, they have this perseverance, they have this, um, what would you call that? It's like a, it's a dynamic to them where they will not give up. No matter if they fall, no matter if they stumble, they get back up and they fight again. And there's actually a scripture here, um, about that one I want to talk about with falling and getting back up and it's actually in Proverbs 24 16 not only is it a mark of a champion it's also a mark of righteousness right so um, Proverbs 24 16 says for a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again but the wicked shall fall by calamity so even like God considers that righteousness whenever you get back up again and you run again or you get back again and you fight again and you hold your corner um, and you don't try to look like the other cats in the jungle you know like you stay in your own column and you stay and you run in your own line and you don't push and shove trying to you know push them out so that you got a spot like find your spot and find your lane and be content in that lane and release that roar release that roar that's inside of you because there's something that um, maybe a message put inside of your heart um, even like your perspective the way you see things that needs to be heard and needs to be shared or experiences that you've gone through in life that it might help another person um, so yes yeah, so I want to encourage you guys to just release your roar just like Katy Perry says just like Muhammad Ali just like God says you know um, don't give up get back up if you fall in it's okay just get back up again and consider it just righteousness don't consider it failure consider it righteous that you got up consider it a right thing is to get up and not just lay there and go oh woe is me and die i mean like 
you've got breath in your lungs, if you have a heartbeat, <laughs> well, you have the ability to get up and try again. So yeah, that's what I want to say about that. And I'm going to hand off the rest of the word topic to Tanya. <laughs> Thank you, Elsa. So um, that those are really good points because um, guys, it is important that you um, don't consider other people like taking on other people's um, luck or becoming other people's uh, leper or whatever animal <laughs> that it is a lion or whatever just like uh, Elsa was betraying is to stay in your own way so I'm going to give you my take on Roar um, well as you can see um, she's in the tiger I'm in a leopard a suit kind of like outfit look at my ears cute anyways uh, <laughs> I felt um I wanted to get a, start off with a really good scripture and um, the scripture that um, came to mind was Ephesians 6 11 to 12 and it says put on the whole armor of God so that you may be able to stand against the whales of the devil wiles I'm sorry for our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh but against rulers, against authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. So, yeah, so when we're talking about roar, I, I see um, a tiger or a lion putting on, again, who they are the essence of a lion like in the jungle if you can actually or a tiger or even a leopard in their own um part in the jungle they carry um kind of like a, 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 a spiritual authority in the regions that they take or the the places that they are um when um it doesn't matter if they're a giraffe doesn't matter if they are a um, an antelope or any of those uh, or even a buffalo maybe um, they all know and that when a lion or in a pride of lions come into a certain territory and they're taking over they know that they hold spiritual weight so my take on it is just like Elsa was explaining earlier Take on your weight, take on your spiritual um, authority over um, your your home, your your places you go to work. And God even says, you are blessed when you go out and when you come back in. So if you can think on those things, like a lion, you hold weight, you hold glory in the places that, the territories that you are in. So if it's a workplace, you're going to glory or become shiny and um, glorified in that area. If it's um, your mom or a dad who is a stay at home, you know, your house is going to reflect the weight of your, what you know, and um, your territory, like a lion, like the spiritual atmosphere in there. Um, <clears throat> also, um, you know, that if anything um, tries to come at you or whatever, don't like, um, give up, you know, we don't, like Elsa was saying, don't just lay around and die. <laughs> we don't give up. We take that roar and we carry or expand our territory even more and take more ground. So, um, that's basically, um, my take on roar and being, um, like a lion or being in your spiritual lane or the course or the race that God has got you in. So just stand tall in it guys. And um, like the Bible says, put on the full armor of God. That's your helmet. That's your, um, your buckle of truth, your breastplate, Place, <laughs> breast plate of righteousness your shoes are saw are fitted on your feet um, to go places and like I said take territory you've got even your sword of truth was the which is the word of God and uh, the spirit of truth which you have 
inside of you. So walking into battle, you're going to win all the time. If you've got God on your side, you're going to win all the time. Yes, troubles may come. Um, things may try to tear you down. But the key thing is expanding your territory and becoming the, pride, the lion or the pride of that land and taking territory. So I, again, that's my roar for today and I'm going to pass it over to my good friend, Elsa. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing those points. And yeah, it's so true when you think of like jungle cats, like their territory. They all, they stake out their own tree, they stake out their own land, and um, it's great. <laughs> it's like, that's where we have to be. And you think of, you know, like, you've got cats, so your cats are the two. I think that they're also territorial, right? Like, um, you've got two cats, so, like, even one cat will, like, carve out a space, like, this is my space. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Yeah, the other one. <laughs> so, one pup you know, is on the other one to get the other one out of yes. the one what you know like get down yeah <laughs> not your spot no that's my spot so you know just just knowing your spot and and then like what you said growing in authority i think that's so good um yeah so we'd love to hear what you guys have to say too about the topic of roar and what roar means to you and um we hope that these little tips and um tricks and you know what we've shared the lyrics and the scriptures and the stories and stuff that they've actually helped you to even identify what that roar is um and we just encourage you that if you have fallen and that you have like stumbled or whatever just shake it off get back up again um and float like that butterfly and sting like that bee and just take your take your ground hold your ground um so yeah so we just want to thank you and um as you see down below um we are on facebook youtube and as well as tiktok um so we would love if you could follow and subscribe follow our journey and be a part of this community and be very active in the chat um and we just want to say thanks for coming along and just taking time out of your day to sit and watch and listen to what we have to say. And we hope that you will also add to um, each topic that we actually bring to you every single week. So until next week, we want to say good night and because it's nighttime here. <laughs> and virtual kisses from our house to yours. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.